I'm Miss Ellie. I hope everybody's doing well. We really missed you a lot. Since Holy Week is coming up, Deacon Kevin and I thought that we would share a book with you. Deacon Kevin, if you're wondering where he's at, he's behind the camera filming me. Hi, everybody. So the book that we want to share is Margaret's First Holy Week by John Sweeney, illustrated by Roy DeLeon. And um, so go grab your stuffed animals, your dogs. Come on, come on, sit around and listen to the story. So did you know that Pope Francis has a cat? The cat's name is Margaret. And there's a, quite a few books about Margaret and her adventures in the Vatican or um, with the Pope. So let's start the book, see what happens. Chapter one, snore. Do you think it was the cat snoring or do you think it was the Pope snoring? Well, let's find out. The Pope heard Margaret the second he walked into the apartment. He was just returning from morning mass in his private chapel. Margaret was curled up in a ball on the couch by the window, her head resting on palm branches the Pope left there a few days ago after the long, joyful procession through St. Peter's Square on Palm Sunday. Margaret was exhausted. Cats are often, you know, exhausted. It has been nearly a year since the Pope adopted Margaret, and Margaret adopted the Pope. They lived together in the Pope's apartment in Vatican City, the tiniest country on the earth. The Swiss guards, who protect the Pope, long ago learned to open doors for Margaret. The Pope's friends long ago began to regard her as one of the family. But, it's still true, there are some members of the Curia, people at the Vatican who help the Pope in his official work, who are not happy that Margaret is around. What? They believe the Pope is too important a person to be walking around with a cat. Well, that's just silly. And Margaret, well, she sometimes gets into a little trouble. The palm branches that Margaret had, had been comfortably resting on were all that remained in the apartment and the Vatican from the celebrations of Palm Sunday. Margaret loved that day, watching people clap their hands and wave their palm fronds and then the happy mass. She especially enjoys singing songs about Jesus the King. But that was five days ago. Today was Thursday. Margaret was waking up to the fifth day of Holy Week and she could already tell that the feeling in the Vatican was changing. While she stretched herself out of her slumber, Margaret heard the Pope talking with someone in the apartment, Father Felipe the Pope's secretary had come into the room. They were using a strange sounding word. It was nothing she had ever heard in her in English or Italian. Tenebre, she heard them each say. Darkness and shadows, Felipe said as well. That's what tenebre means. It is a church service that takes place as Holy Week moves towards Easter. When the church is made completely dark, Margaret's ears perked up. Is it scary, she wondered. Then the Pope said, this is one time when everyone should leave with a sense of sadness. Oh my, Margaret thought, she was worried. Tenebre is a Latin word and it means just what Margaret heard. It isn't scary, but it is supposed to be sort of sad. Holy Week begins with the joyful celebration and procession that remembers Jesus arriving in Jerusalem on the first Palm Sunday more than 2,000 years ago, but then gradually moves toward his passion. Margaret didn't know what passion meant, not yet. Father Felipe then left the room and the Pope noticed that Margaret was finally awake. He picked her up, pressing his cheek on her own. He always enjoyed how Margaret's fur felt against his skin. She liked this too. He smiled, she purred. Good morning, amore mio, the Pope said. 
Amore mio is Italian. It means my love. Today is Maundy Thursday, he added. Maundy? More strange words, Margaret thought. She wasn't sure that she was going to like everything that was happening this week. Okay, so that is chapter one. So come back next time and we will read chapter two. And this is, I forgot to introduce, this is Panda. And little Diva is going to be walking around too. So you might get a glimpse of her. Um, but come back next time and we'll read chapter two. Have a great day. Bye.